Josh, uh, I think the Brexville police may be looking for you. <laughs> that was pretty dominant performance yeah. in the final. Uh, first things first, uh, you come to a tournament like this. You guys don't get the out-of-state competition because of your travel restriction yeah. or whatever. But, I mean, the best team in the country found you. You're not going to Penn State for no reason. Yeah. What's it like knowing to come here, you can dominate, and you're the best guy in the tournament? Um, it's, uh, I treat every tournament the same. You know, I don't care if you're ranked number one in the country. Or if I've never heard of your name before, I treat you the same. I want to beat you. I want to dominate you. So I think that just that mindset is one of the biggest reasons that Penn State found me. It's just, uh, you know, I always, like, I can pull 100 things from this tournament, go back and get better at them, you know. It's, it was a good performance, I think, but uh, there's always stuff to improve on. So I love competing, man. You know, I train super, super hard for these opportunities and to be able to go and dominate. But, uh, you know, I got points scored on me this weekend. I didn't pin everybody in one second. So there's stuff to improve on, so. Alex is already there. Do you watch Alex a lot? Yeah, yep. Alex is my best friend. I love watching him. Uh, this is his first year, or he retro last year. So his first year competing, and, uh, and so it gets me pumped. I can't wait to be there. You know, I'm so happy for him. I know he's happy, you know, and it makes me very confident in my decision, to, you know, being in the UI in the future. Braden's here. Braden's wrestling for Dundee. He's dominant, of course, as well. Yeah. Uh, is it? just so easy to see why people choose that place and why you want to be at Penn State. Yeah, I think it takes a certain type of person. You know, um, I had a lot of awesome options, you know, throughout the recruiting process, but I think that uh, Penn State recruits a certain kid, and it takes a certain kid to fit in, you know. It's not like other schools, man. It's uh, it's very goal-oriented, and every college is goal-oriented, but, you know, you got a group of, you know, 30, 40 guys, and they all got the same thing in mind. You know, they want to be NCAA champs individually as a team and they want to bring each other up and better better each other you know every day and uh, not every school is like that you know you can have five kids on a team that want that and you can have a good team but I think what separates Penn State is everybody in that room is locked in on one common goal and uh, I think that you know a certain kid wants to be a part of that. You, know, you, you guys at Davidson, you've done such a great job and so many legends have come from there. Yeah. You know, John Reader, I love talking to John Reader, Coach Metcalf, um, obviously uh, you just you had three NCAA champs in the last 15 years. I mean, it is such a great program. Yeah. Why is Davidson could prepare you guys to be the next level? How you guys are? Oh, uh, we were talking about this recently, and I think it's uh, Donahoe. I missed Donahoe. Sorry. Yeah. Shout out to Donahoe too. Yeah, Donahoe too. You know, Paul and uh, you know Coach Shine, who Coach Donahoe. He's an awesome club coach. He's uh, he's made a lot of uh, talent in the state of Michigan. He's helped a lot of us, not just at Davidson. At, you know, our rivals, DCC. There's kids there. They grew up in the Donahoe system. There's kids everywhere. You know, I think we have 12 or 15, 12 to 15 guys right now wrestling at the Division One level from Team Donahoe, and uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful thing what Coach Donahoe does. And I think that uh, Davidson, in its own, I think that you know we're tough, man. I think that's it. You know, obviously we we train hard. We do technical practices. We got good technique, but I think we're just tough at the end of the day. Um, I think 99% of the time we're in better shape than the other guy. Than the other guy, and uh, you know, I think we don't have much, man. We don't have much. We uh, we may do with what we got, and I think that's, it helps to be great. It's uh, gritty, man. It's just yeah, gritty. gritty. Flint area. You're yeah. not far from Flint. No, nope, nope. And Mark, Mark, uh, yeah. Mark Hall was, Mark a, was a, he was yep. he was yep. Davidson. Moved to Minnesota. Isn't that yeah. wild? Yeah, it's. It's wild, and at the same time, it's not because we've, we've, uh, you know, before I used to think it was wild. I'm like, you know, watching Mark Paul on TV. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, we used to train in the same room, and now it's like, you know, you see those guys every single day, right? It's, uh, it's definitely been a, it's different, you know, um, being a war guy, watching those guys, you know, now myself almost to that level where, you know, everybody's watching me. So I think that uh, it's, it's full circle. It's come full circle for me. How do you stay interested and engaged when this is probably your toughest competition of the year? You're not gonna. You're gonna beat everybody pretty handily, right? I don't know if you guys go to anything even this no, this, this caliber, is, right? Yeah, no. This is about it. This is about the toughest we can get within our uh, restrictions and rules with the Michigan, but, which uh, are awful. Yeah. No, <laughs> Sorry, I, I they're agree. awful. I agree. I agree, hundred percent. But uh, I want to be a four-time NCAA champion, and I want to be an Olympic champion. And uh, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I want to be the greatest wrestler. You know, step foot on the surf. You know, um, so that's what gets me out of bed every morning. You know. I come here and I, you know, I wrestle these guys. And you know, I think that last kid he was ranked in the country. You know, I want to, I want to wrestle these guys every chance I get. You know, that's why I compete in the all, all season. That's why I go to World Team Trials, Super 32, Fargo. You know, that's why I compete in all these things so I can test myself against those guys. But you won Fargo, right? Yep, twice. Yeah, <laughs> yep. just twice. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, wrestling here is the same. Like I said earlier, it's the same as uh, going to wrestling at uh, World Team Trials and wrestling guys who are ranked every single match. You know, I. 
you know, I want to be an Olympic champion, four-time NCAA champion, so I'm going to come here and wrestle these guys, break down the video, break down the film, get back in the room and better myself. You know, I'm not perfect. I never, I never will be. But, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my hardest to get there. Congrats on the title. You got anything else for me? No, that's it. Thank you. All right, man. Good luck to you moving forward, and uh, we're going to be following, right? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.